In this video, we're going to expand on the previous one where we have the issue of cycle, well not cycling through, but with our fire animation not working as intended when we go to aim, such as this. As you can see, it tries to go down to this position and play it like so. So we want to fix that and instead make it additive. So what we're going to do is go to our first person, animations, and open up our fire animation. Now there's going to be a problem here, and I'll show you here in a second. What we're going to do, make sure it's selected, additive anim type, we're going to set it to mesh space, then the selected, we're going to go from none to selected animation frame, and we want to select our first person idle animation. However, we want to make sure we select the one that we imported at the very beginning. So we can see the direction this one's facing compared to where this one's facing. So we select our idle animation. Next up, we want to actually re-import this animation and rotate it so it's facing ourselves. So we can get rid of that 90 degree rotation that we have kind of an issue with. So what we do is we export asset animation data. Just save it to the desktop. Export, I leave everything default. And re-import. Select it. And if we scroll down now, we can see the transform. So import rotation. We're going to do, uh, I think it's negative 90 on the Z. We re-import. Nope. It's positive 90. And re-import. And there we go. So it's now facing us. So now let's head back to our animation blueprint. Where we have play first person idle. We're going to change that to our normal idle animation that was imported at the very beginning. Which is going to lead us to the problem of if we look at our character. We are currently rotated away from our camera, like this. So as you can see, everything's over here. However, if we still aim, it brings the gun over. Good system. So we want to fix that. So we're just going to set the rotation to be 0, and then rotate it by 90, or negative 90. Make it face straight. And now, let's see, let's look at the animation. We're pretty much good to go. The only thing we want to do is we want to fix up the... Uh, now what do you call it? Uh, socket. So let's go ahead and open up that animation. Find our socket for the hand. And start rotating this to fit. So again, I don't have any like proper sight or proper attachment or animations or anything like that. These are all temporary just for the sake of the tutorial. Me up a bit. And towards me. Okay. Now we're still, are we that far off up top? Oh, yeah, we are. Make sure that's straight enough. Okay, I'll say that's good enough for the time being. So now let's go back to our fire. And let's see. actually scratch that. Spam Control Z. We're gonna undo our changing of the sockets, and I changed my mind. We're just gonna go back to the first person idle, and because that fits in way better, we're gonna export that back out and do the exact same thing that we did with the fire animation. So let's open up our idle, export it out, re-import. I'm gonna change the import rotation to 90. Reimport, save it, and there we go. However, let's see, I think we undid that. Yes, we did. So we changed our rotation on the Z back to negative 90. There we kind of go. So it's still, the animation sucks, obviously, but we're at least facing the right direction. So, what we can actually go through and do, reset that back to default and just change the Z. Let's do plus negative 90 and see if that positions it any better. Yeah, close enough. Okay, so now let's go back to work on our additive animation. So if we open up our fire, we want to just revert this back from idle back to our first person idle, save it, and let's give it a look. So we aim and we shoot.
and it's so far working somewhat as intended. So same thing from the hip. It just looks like complete crap, which I really wish we had proper animations for this. But for the time being, it kind of is what it is. So we now have our fire animation set to be additive, and it just kind of adds on, as you can kind of assume by the name, it adds on to the current animation that we are using. So instead of it, when we aim, it's snapping back down to wherever the fire animation is supposed to be, it holds it in place and adds on to it, which is what we want. So that's pretty much going to be all for this video. We have that set up now. The only thing I can think of left would be replication. So, well, and the actual reloading portion, but we can do that afterwards since it's fairly simple. So, oh yeah, and left hand IK. So we have to replicate everything, set it up for left hand IK so the left hand stays attached to a socket on the gun. Then, oh, what was the last one? Reloading. We have to set it up so when we try to play a reload animation, for example, we detach the hand, so the left hand IK that has just the left hand to the gun releases itself, and it plays, obviously, the animation, which is, again, going to be additive. So that's how we're going to sort through all that. If you like what I'm doing and you want to support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for patrons. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my uh, Discord down below, and I'll try to help you out. So I'll see you in the next video.